Hello. Welcome to Rick's Kids. My name is Rick. And this is my bill. Hi guys. Right. So I'll be trying to be back with an update on the uh, Ford Mustang GT4. And I'm not going to disappoint you, I have got an update for you. Excuse me. Um, as you can see on camera, I now have the interior tub all done. So she's decalled up. The harnesses, etc. Uh, I did the roll cage blue. Could, if I'd wanted to, um, or left it white, potentially red, but actually I quite like, I quite like the blue, it sort of goes with the black and the silver in the cockpit, so it will go with the silver on the, uh, on the bodywork of the car, and also it is, it'll match, it'll go with the red. I think on the colour spectrum, blue is on the almost on the opposite side of the red. Anyway, we're not going there. So yeah, she's all done inside as best I can. I've got a decal to put on the uh, canister over here in the back. A little bit of a touch up with the paint. With a bit of. Uh, The old Tamiya Mark fit, I managed to get the decals to sit down. Masking went okay um, with the windows and everything. Me and masking went down pretty good. All on the other side, it's still perfect. perfectly clear, isn't it? Lovely and clear. You mask on the back side of this and then paint it on the back side. So all my windows are done. Uh, the only one I haven't at the moment unmasked is this one. Um, I can't remember why I didn't unmask it. I think it's because where I've had it gripped and sprayed, we've got a clear here, and when it's in sitting in the window, you can just just about see that small bit just there. So I need to get a little bit of the old. X18 in behind there to cover that up because you don't see that bit. It just needs that little bit of X18 in there, so that's why that one's like that. Um, with the body, uh, we're now all decals. We've got decals on. Um, not too many, but enough. Uh, she's had probably tell because she's very 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 shiny here on the red uh, she's had a clear coat of gloss um even with an <clears throat> excuse me even with the natural metal finish it, it is glossy i can see that it's glossy but because it's sort of a semi-gloss knocks it down which looks looks a lot like the tuskegee airman paint scheme on the aircraft so you've got this bright red towel and a bright red nose uh yellow across the wings and then you've got this f sort of semi natural metal finish look about the car so the decals are on it's by request. I haven't put too many on, just enough to warrant that it's a uh, potential race car. If I had other decals, I would have put them on. We've got the Ford badge on. But yeah, I do like the way she's glossed up. I might not even bother polishing her, to be honest with you. I quite like it the way she is. 
Uh, number 66 by request was the commanding officer of the Tuskegee Airmen or 100 Fire Squadron. Got, I don't know if we can get it in there. Uh, just here, it's GT4. And then we've got the GT4. Is that a focus? Good God. GT4 badge either side of the yellow stripe. Yeah, it's looking good. We're very close. And uh, all I've got to do for this now is concentrate on flying bumpers and the lighting, putting the windows and the grills and stuff in. That's all right, that's that's where we're going to be at. And then putting on the uh, underskirts and the um, the other parts that can go underneath and then fit it in. So you've got the front under garden and you've got the um, hammer. I what the bloody thing's called again. There you guys know. Wing mirrors. That's built and glossed. And then you have a little bits and pieces in there and she's done. And be done by Sunday the latest. Uh, and then I'll give you I'll give you a final if I've definitely got it done by the sound by Sunday. But I'm happy with the way she's progressing. Coming out. Uh, I need to chuck some gloss on these sides. Go. Sort of bland. Okay. One more thing. I've got a shop card. And it is for Duck Hensley of Hensley's Hobbies. Now I've got two cards. I believe this is his old one. And this is his newer one. And thanks, Doug, for those kinds of words on the back, mate. Much appreciate it. Respect to you, young man. Great channel. Great content. If you're not subscribed to Doug, why are you sitting here watching me? Get over there and subscribe to him. He's a great guy. Very friendly guy. Very knowledgeable guy as well. I do like his content. He's just not a, he's not a one man band. You know, he does tanks. I see aircraft, cars, trucks. But yeah, go and show the love to Mr. Doug Hensley if you haven't already done it and if you want one of his uh, shop cards he's always asking you if you want one you need to contact him on Hensley Doug 744 Gmail. Oh God, it's a bit shiny. It's not picking up. But that's what you want. Hensley Doug. Seven forty four. Pick it up on this one. There you go. Oh, slightly. See it down the bottom. And there. Hensley Doug. Seven forty four at Gmail dot com. He'll gladly swap shop cards with you. If you just want a shop card, he'll send you a shop card. Great guy. Go and check him out. As are a lot of these creators on YouTube. Anyway, rambled on a bit further than I would have expected. Love you, Doug. Thanks very much for the kind words. Love your shop cards. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, have a good weekend. See you in the next one. Bye for now.